Hello there, my name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now at Mobile World Congress 2017, LG launched the LG G6. Now there's lots of things we could say about this phone, but today I want to look specifically at this 18 by nine aspect ratio. In fact, what is an aspect ratio? If it's 18 by nine, why isn't it two by one? And what's Charlie Chaplin got to do with it? Well, let me explain. Now, one of the key metrics about a smartphone is its screen size. And we might say, oh, the Google Pixel has a five inch display or the Huawei P10 has a 5.1 inch display or the Galaxy Note 5 has a 5.7 inch display. Now, what do we mean by five inch, 5.1 inch, 5.7 inch? Well, it's not the width or the height of the screen, no. What it actually is, is the diagonal from corner to corner. In fact, that's how we measure televisions, how we measure monitors for computers, and how we measure smartphones. So if we look at the Galaxy Note 5, we'll see that across here, the display is 2.795 inches, and its height is 4.95 inches. Now, if you do a bit of Pythagoras, what you actually find is that if you square the width and by the height, and then you take the square root of it, what you actually get is 5.7 inches. Now, aspect ratio has a lot to do with media, with films, with movies. So therefore, we measure it in landscape mode, not in portrait mode. So if we look again here at the Galaxy Note 5, we find here we've got 4.96 inches by 2.796 inches. Now, when you divide these two together, you get the screen ratio. Now, actually, you divide those two together, you get 1.77. Now, 16 by 9 is 16 divided by 9, which is, in fact, 1.77777777 recurring. And so we can say that the Galaxy uh, Note 5 has a 16 by 9 display. In fact, the majority of smartphones have a 16 by 9, uh, by 9 display. And you don't actually, actually have to work it out only by the physical measurements, you can also do that by the screen resolution. If you assume that every pixel is square, then a HD screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. And if you divide 1920 by 1080, you get what? 1.77777777777 recurring, which of course is 16 by 9. Now I've mentioned 16 by 9, but you may have also heard of 4 by 3. Now way back in the days of silent movies at Hollywood, people like Charlie Chaplin and Laurel and Hardy and Harold Lloyd were all being filmed using 35mm film. And each frame took up four perforations on the film roll. And when you calculate that aspect ratio, it gives you four by three. And that four by three ratio stuck with us and became the kind of standard for television and, and further on. But from there, we moved on into the widescreen format. Now the widescreen format for cinema is 1.85 to one, which is quite close to 1.77 to one, which is the 16 by nine format that we find on our phones and on media like Blu-ray. Now, because they're close, it means it's actually quite easy to transfer cinematic releases down to home video releases. It's not much of a difficult transition there. And then that brings us to 18 by nine. Now, 18 by nine is of course two by one, which means that the screen on the LG G6 is twice as wide as it is high. Now, they chose 18 by nine rather than two by one because they felt LG felt that it was closer to consumers' expectations of 16 by nine, 18 by nine, they sound very similar, but just it shows you that it's just that little bit wider. Now, at the moment, most content is filmed, as I said, in this cinema widescreen format, or we might get it in our Blu-ray format, widescreen 16 by nine, but actually some content is nowadays actually filmed in two by one, and this is using a film format called Univision. Now, Films like Jurassic World were filmed in the two by one uh, ratio. And in fact, a lot of programs on Netflix and Netflix originals like House of Cards and Stranger Things are also filmed in this two by one aspect ratio. Now on the LG G6, if you watch a movie that's prepared in 16 by nine, you will get black bars on the screen because there isn't the content there to show. However, LG has also included some app scaling features that allow you to play around between the different aspect ratios on your device. It's also worth noting that the LG G6 is actually narrower and therefore easier to hold in the hand than the LG G5. Now the G5 had a 5.3 inch display, the G6 has a 5.7 inch display, but because of that change in aspect ratio, it means that actually the G6 is narrower in the hand. In fact, it's narrower than the Google Pixel XL, it's narrower than the S7 Edge, and it's narrower than the Note 5. 
So that could actually bring us to a new age where we kind of come into narrower but taller phones. Now 5.7 is a fairly large display. Now manufacturers could opt to go for maybe 5.5 or even 5.2 inch displays using the 18 by 9 aspect ratio and we'll find they'll be much easier to hold in the hand. Now when you combine that with bezel-less displays or with curved displays, we are maybe going to come into a time now when we're going to have more display regular state occupying that front part of our smartphones. Will 18 by 9 become the new de facto standard? Well, it's too early to say at the moment. But over the next year or two, we're going to see, I'm pretty sure, lots of OEMs experimenting with the 18 by 9 format. And if it proves popular amongst consumers, we may find that this will become the new aspect ratio, not only for smartphones, but also for digital media and for home cinema. And maybe even we're going to start to see it more in the normal cinema as well. Exciting times. We'll have to see what happens. Well, my name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. If you want to get a notification about when a new video comes out, do hit that little bell symbol that you'll find next to the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.